we have an extra delicious starch to this mealtime segment video. I am so excited about oh, this you're first jumping right in. I was going to go over the fact that this might be the most jam-packed mealtime segment thus far. Really? We have eight I things. mean, not with a lot of things, with quality things, though. Oh, yeah. This is the highest Good quality mealtime we've done. And uh, we're going to start with this because yeah. they're hot. All right, guys, these are the new Birch Benders a la Cups. So they have a pancake mix we like to get, but they are, these are coming out in January of 2020. And so we are going to make two of them and try them out. So all you have to do is add water and microwave. So that's what it looks like. This is the chocolate chip pancake one. And then you just mix until smooth and microwave for 60 seconds. So it's basically like a mug cake. So the deal with these erythritol, a lot of first erythritol. ingredient. 16 grams. Okay, that's that's a lot. This is only four though. It's the pancake one. Dark chocolate, good ingredients, almond flour, three net carbs. Three net carbs. This is five net carbs and only four sugar alcohols, like I said. Very convenient though. 18 fat, 10 protein. So I like that, yeah. Oh, they have strawberry shortcake. We didn't get that flavor. No, they sent us the chocolate chip one. Maybe they don't have that formulated yet. Chocolate chips kind of sink to the bottom a little bit. That's okay. You're going to get there. So I'm digging it. The texture, very nice and fluffy. Cakey. Pretty great. Mainly texture. Oh my God. Is it a pancake? Yeah, I guess that's a question. You're right. It's not a pancake. It tastes like chocolate chip cookie, I would say. But a really good texture. texture. It's just a chocolate chip mug cake. Muffin. Chocolate chip muffin. That's what it is. But I like this one because it's sweet from the chocolate chips, but there's no, sugar, no really a lot of sugar alcohol. It's so airy though. I could just plow through this thing in like four bites, I think. Yeah. These are cool. Yeah. And the nice thing about these, a lot of people send us different mm. powders and flours pre-made for you. Then you look at the instructions and it's like add eggs, butter, cream cheese, Olive oil. other things. Yeah. This is just add water. Texture on this one, pretty similar, a little bit more dense. Very good. So good. Now I just want to eat all of them. I would give that a thumbs up for sure. I feel so, like the muffin's probably really good. I'm gonna, I don't give out 10s very easily, but I would give this like a strong 8.59 range. I'm gonna go nine, nine and a half. Yeah. Because only add water, really delicious. And the ingredients. Matt's been hankering for this Okay, puppy. yeah, these look insane. I don't know if these, you can buy these. I don't know if yet, but um, biohacking.chick on Instagram, yeah. Sylvia. She sent us these and she sent a lot of people them. So maybe she's like test running them yeah. and gonna sell them. So that's pork Let's loin. See. Heritage pork and salt. Those are the only ingredients. This is 100% grass fed beef and salt. And these aren't like beef jerkies. These are like entire slabs of pork. Oh my God, that looks phenomenal. Look at that. Whoa. Is she making these at home in her kitchen? She must be dehydrating them. Mm. I would say she's got a winner here. Yeah, I'm very salty. Mm. It's pretty crispy, but it's not like hard. It almost like melts in it's your mouth. It's kind of chewy, yeah. Crispy, but chewy. Which one do you like better? I think that one. I like pork loin too. Yeah, we got a good show ahead of us today, guys. <laughs> one of the better products we've had on the show, I'd have to say. Mm -hmm. So in here, this has to be like four... Where buys? Four to six pounds of, of meat. Mm -hmm. And now it's dehydrated. So like, if you look, I'll just pour some out onto the table. Look at that. Beautiful. Dang. I mean, the only reason someone hasn't done this before, I would have to imagine, is the cost. So I wonder what one of these sells for. Right. What would I pay for it? She probably wants to know that. What would I pay for this? I feel like... Like... 30 to $40. I was going to say like $39, $99. Oh. Like, I would subscribe to this for $35 a month, get one of these a month or something. I would get the pork loin, 100%. I'd give this a nine, I think. I mean, this for dinner, and followed up by an a la cup. Yeah. For dessert. And I'm really hungry right now. This is just some quality stuff. Ghee. Ghee butter. So we get the Vital Farms eggs all the time. Humble brag. No, I was just gonna say, like we actually get their product and they- so We're um, supposed to store this at room temp. Yeah, it's good. If you're trying to do dairy free, I guess it's kind of contentious, but this has no lactose in it. So I think it is pretty much dairy free. Like if you do the whole 30, if you yeah. go by different things, like if you do the whole 30 diet, they say you mm. can have ghee. I think it's just because there's no lactose. I, I think there's no casein, the common dairy allergies. It's, and ghee is just so good. Mm. It almost tastes like refreshing and clean. Then. This big puppy. So this is called Eight Bridges Brewing Incorporated. And I don't think this is available yet, but it will be soon. So this, this individual reached out and he didn't want to send it like just any time because he was like it's best when it because he freshly brews it so we got this really recently like in a 
in the past like three days. They're gonna be available in 12 or 16 ounce cans next year. So January, you know, like in a few days here. And they're currently on draft. Is that how you say it, on draft? Yeah. In the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, cool. That's so they're cool. in like bars or somewhere on draft. They're four carbs per 12 ounces and 132 calories. This is a 32 ounce or puppy. So we can cut to me drinking this entire, what it even is this? How 32 ounces? ounces. 32 ounces while watching football. Okay guys, here we are. I got both beers and I'm gonna try one of them for you. This one is called Tropical Semba. And this one is called Sultan's Mistress. Ooh. They're both 6% alcohol. Which one would you go with? The, they're both IPAs also. I'm gonna go with Sultan's Mistress. That's what I would have gone I'm not with. really into like tropical fruity beers. The pour, pretty light in color. I know a thing or two about beer. Maybe you can't tell by the way I just poured that. No, but... there's too much head. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so number one, it's not at all watery. I've tried some low carb beers. Most of them are super watery. Like there's this one from Dogfish Head Low Carb. Yeah. It's a 3.6 carbs per 12 ounces. It's just so watery. This one is not watery. Taste wise, do I love it? You get the hoppiness. I just overall don't love the flavor. It's like a little too strong, bitter for me. Like I'd like to know the IBUs on this beer term, international bitterness units, I think. Seems like it's pretty high IBU. It'd be tough for me to drink this entire 32 ounce. Like I could drink a solid 12 ounce and I'd switch to a different kind of beer probably, but I don't think I could power through this whole 32 ounce. They're not or. selling in 32. Yeah, they're selling in 12 ounces though. Then we got a lot of stuff here. From, from Kite time. Hill. Kite Hill. So you guys know Kite Hill, they have their almond yogurt. A lot of people like it. No, I I don't really like it. I don't love it on its own, but I like mix like protein powder into it or like something flavored and that makes it really tasty. Yeah, I don't like the whole concept of this company. They basically take animal foods and make them into plant foods, which just makes them less healthy overall and just, yeah. I'm contrary to that right now because I'm doing dairy free because of breastfeeding. That's the one benefit, yeah. So this, if I try these and I like them, I'm just gonna eat them all. So this is actually a Greek yogurt they came out with, but they have a ton of different flavors. So they have plain, they have a ricotta one. These are almond milk spreads. Yeah, almond milk. Do, what flavor do we want to try? They also have ricotta cheese. Okay, do that one. Almond milk ricotta cheese. I am a stickler for ricotta cheese. One time I made a recipe, the uh, zucchini manicotti recipe. Mm -hmm. And my mom called me and she's like, that's not how you do it. I'll ship you the good ricotta cheese from uh, El Camo's. So the macros on this, I'm doing the chive one. It's for two tablespoons, it's six fat, two total carbon, one fiber, and then two protein. And the ingredients are almond milk, salt, chives, xanthan gum. Man, this company must just be killing it because they're taking actual expensive foods like dairy foods and remaking it with almond milk and thickening agents. Mm. I mean, this isn't ricotta cheese. If you're like a vegan or something, oh. I could see you being fooled by it. That one's easily. not bad. I feel like it just tastes like the almond milk yogurt, which I'm not a fan of. And the chives taste, there's a lot in there you can see, but it's not really strong. The almonds come through kind of strong in all these, I think. I guess I'll try the yogurt too to make sure that's the same. Mm. So that's good because it's sweetened with vanilla. So this yogurt here, it's essentially just almond milk and thickening agents again. Eight carbs, four fiber, so four net carbs, two sugars. I mean, you're better off just eating normal yogurt unless you have some kind of dairy thing that you don't want to eat yogurt. Mm. Yeah, what do you give it out of 10? I general? wouldn't I wouldn't buy it. I'd give it a one. It's fake health foods. Like I could see my mom getting this and thinking she's doing something really good, but it's and actually- suffering through the taste. Yeah. I, I guess I'll give it like a four. All right, guys. Don't show our address. So we took a little nibble on these right when they arrived. Company is called Chipmunk. Theo's crying. I know. So for one of these cookies, it's 90 calories, 13 carb, and they use 10 grams of allulose, which okay. I think that's why they taste so good. Which why they taste like real cookies. And is that per cookie? So 10 grams of allulose per cookie. That's quite a bit, right? Yeah. That's gonna be on the high end. Which is why they also taste really good. But I'd say allulose definitely tastes better to just a normal palate than erythritol. And thinking back to our sweetener video, did allulose impact us similarly to erythritol? Yeah, pretty much okay. not no effect. No, oh, I had digestive as far as issues. Digestive issues, yeah, similar effect. Okay, so like diarrhea, but you're not eating two tablespoons on an empty stomach of it here. So they have two, four, six flavors. Six? Two, four, six. So we already tried one and it was fire emoji. It was white chocolate macadamia nut. It's the best keto cookie I've probably had. It reminded me of the ones from Subway. Like seven fire emojis. Subway has sneaky good cookies too. I know, people say that, but 
I've the, never tried them. The white chocolate strawberry cheesecake or whatever. I think it's just strawberry cheesecake cookies. Yeah. Those are the best. I already tried the white chocolate macadamia nut one. That's the best one. Nothing's gonna beat it, but we're not gonna retry that one. I did try the chocolate chip one too, right? Yeah, we tried that. A little bit worse, I would say. The coconut one looks good. There's snickerdoodle lemon and then peanut butter. I wanna try a lot of these. So the coconut one's super soft. Just very, very soft. They're all very soft. Coconut one's very good. Lemon, and it looks like we got some poppy seeds mm, in here. That is nice. Lemon it, cookie. I don't like lemon. Did you like the coconut one? Yeah. It's probably my third favorite though. That's lemon poppy seed. Lemon poppy seed muffin. That's a home run. Snickerdoodle, traditionally Mega's favorite. No. No? Mm -mm. You love Snickerdoodle. I realize it's just like cinnamon. It's yeah, not I don't like great. Snickerdoodle that much. Mmm. Wow. But they got the consistency of a Snickerdoodle cookie on point. That's really good. All of these are home runs. I think just whatever flavor you typically like, you'll probably like of these. Good ingredients. It's just a lot of allulose per cookie. New bar in town. It's called Hekka Bars, Hekka Good Foods. So the unique thing about these is the extremely low net carbs, one net carb. Yeah, they use allulose. A selling point they go with, and we actually interviewed the CEO on our podcast. You see on the box here, it's gonna say no chicory root, also known as inulin. Yeah, he which seems, a lot of bars use. Yeah, he seems to think that is not a good ingredient to use in low carb bars, products, anything like that. So they use soluble tapioca fiber, which is what Quest uses, right? No, they use soluble corn. So it's 24 grams total carbs, seven fiber, three erythritol, 13 allulose. We're gonna try just the new ones today. So this is maple pecan, which is your favorite. Mm -hmm. And white chocolate macadamia. Which is Matt's nut. favorite. It's kind of like us, brown and white. Yeah, here's what it looks like. Pretty. And the text consistency is very. Similar to Quest Bar. Quest, yeah. A little different though, Def definitely different. Like it's less fake tasting. Less chewy, mm -hmm. would you say, mm -hmm. than Quest Bars? Softer, moister. I would say a little more subtle too than Quest Bars. Yeah, not really strong in flavor, this one. Same with this one. The good side of these ones, they do have like the chunks. So you can see like the chunks of the pecan, chunks of the macadamia nut. I'm still gonna go with my favorite was the peanut butter chocolate. There's a lot of chunks of nuts and uh, white chocolate chips. Oh, you get like the crunch, you get the softness. So last one. We bought these. Came out of our own pocket. I got them at Walmart and they have, I think they have like two flavors, but this was the only one they had. Cause anytime there's a big new thing that's widely available that everyone can get right away, we like to try it. The reviews we've heard is that it's very bad. Yeah, very bad is like the review. It's not like they're okay. They're a good in a pinch. Yeah, you guys are vicious. Sometimes you're like, I couldn't even swallow it. I spit it out. So these guys, they have the thing, it's called the complete cookie. I've, have you ever had one of those? I have had one. They're good, right? When we did our carb up day, I had one. Oh, and I took, think I took a bite. You got like the snickerdoodle. It was pretty good. So this here is 15 total carbs, five fiber, seven sugar alcohols, and it is erythritol. It's vegan. So it uses a weird flour. Usually you're talking like almond flour, coconut flour. This uses a grain-free flour blend, lupin flour, and peanut flour. A lot of people ask us about lupin flour. I think it's a bean, right? We've never, yeah, the lupini bean, I think. Yeah. We've never worked with it. Overall, the rest of the ingredients are surprisingly good yeah. for this type of a thing. I was expecting it to be not very good. Mm -hmm. But I would say overall ingredients are like seven out of 10. Very break party. I thought it was gonna be softer. I've it's, been wanting to try this. It really too. is not crumbly. So I'm probably the minority, but I like it. It's weird, but. Mm -mm. I think most people aren't gonna like it, but that peanut butter flavor at the end. It's decent. It's weird. I can see why people totally hate it. Let's say that. Yeah. I could also see some people could like it. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of on the middle, borderline. I feel like it's one of those things I'm gonna like crave, like that. I think one night randomly, like I'm having one of those. Yeah. You know? It's not like just like a peanut butter flavor. It tastes like a manufactured peanut butter flavor. I really right? get the erythritol coming through, like the granular. Oh yeah, you're right. It's not terrible. I'd give it like a six out of 10. So if they, if they do have another flavor that I see, I would try it. <laughs> yeah. It's like unhealthy foods that are disguised as health foods and like protein bars. Mm -hmm. This is just like the culmination of that. It's like, oh, now we can do cookies that have some protein in them. Comment below with any of these things you guys have tried. Are our ratings accurate? And then we should do our winners. We, ne we haven't done our winners in a long time. Pretty much everything was a decent winner. I'd winner. These if you can get your hands on these, I don't know if you can. Do it. These cups are a winner. These are a winner, yeah. These cookies for sure. Ghee butter, you can't go you wrong. You can't go wrong. These heck bars are good too. So I guess Kite Hill's the only, and the keto cookie, I would say those are the two losers. I would say the Kite Hill for me is a loser. This is just. It's there. It's there. It's not a winner, not a loser. It's fine. Yeah, I would say Kite Hill's a loser as well. That's it guys. This was a good one though, right? I think so. 
Yeah. I think this is the best one we've done. Cool. This was the tastiest for me. Like I was like, I can't wait to get to every single thing. Mm -hmm. Even that Kite Hill yogurt. All right guys, thanks for joining us.